here and today is Sunday or the depressing day of the con. Everything is a lot slower, no one's in cosplay, so we're going to be checking out the expo hall as well as talking to a couple cosplayers and we do have a couple interviews lined up. Um, I'm here with the Hollywood Show and I'm really, really excited to be interviewing them. Uh, they do parodies on YouTube and they seem like really amazing people to talk to. So first of all, thank you guys for taking the time to be interviewed. You're welcome. No problem. Your cosplay is cool today. Thank you. I love your Dan and Phil video. How much fun was it? Yay. How much fun was it to do that one? Um, did it feel weird trying to impersonate these people that are really popular on YouTube? And did you worry about the reaction they'd have? Um, no, I mean, we weren't worried. We've always liked Dan and Phil. They started off when YouTube first started, like how we've started since YouTube started. So we really admire that they've always stuck true to themselves. They've never changed. And we like their seven second game. And a lot of people have said, you know what? I want you to collab with them. Uh, you kind of remind me of like the female versions of them. And we thought that was kind of weird. Like, okay, I guess maybe the blue eyes, the brown eyes. And then we said, okay, this game is so much fun. Seven seconds. Let's just cosplay as them and play the game. Because yeah, we love well, them we, so we, much. The whole point of that video was really to help support them. Because um, we believe in supporting other YouTubers. Um, and I think it's a wonderful thing to do in the YouTube community. Um, so with that, that's why I said, well, how could we? And I said, well, let's dress up because this is what the Hollywood Show does. Like, yeah. this is our brand. This is what we do. I'm going to save you from the current. <laughs> <laughs> We're just going to stand like yeah. this. <laughs> 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 that works. So I'm here with Sten Yen, and he does these really, really amazing zombie characters. And we get one annually. So we have, actually, on my dad's cubicle, he has all these zombie portraits lined up. And it's basically our family portraits, and you can see me growing up. And it's one of the things we look most forward to in con season, is that we get a new zombie character. So first of all, thank you for taking a second to talk to me. Well, thanks for wanting to talk to me. <laughs> so how did you get started doing these? Um, just kind of by accident, really. I, uh, I always felt like I had the capability of doing caricatures, but never really the desire. Um, back when I was about seven years old, I'd been watching character artists very carefully, and uh, I noticed that character artists that didn't know how to draw things would, you know, draw everyone's nose the same way, or they had their fallback things. And uh, my aunt and uncle uh, came out for their uh, wedding honeymoon, and of course, uh, when you've got out of town guests, uh, you got to take them to Casa Bonita, right? So they bought us all caricatures, and uh, this particular character artist, I, I noticed at the age, precocious age of seven, drew everyone's eyes touching in the middle like Garfield, and he drew everyone with buck teeth. Well, just a word to the wise for all you character artists out there, you cannot draw Asian people with buck teeth and get away with it. My aunt was livid, and my uncle, who is not Asian, was kind of defending the artist, and I thought they were going to get divorced over the caricatures on their honeymoon. And so that always stuck in the back of my mind. So even though I always felt like I had the skill set to do caricatures, I, I never really had the desire. So they're going to be doing an It's Okay to Be Geeky and Gay thing, and it's actually in the kids' crawl, which is really awesome that they're talking about this issue in the kids' crawl. So I'm going to sit down for this little mic thing. Everybody, regardless of who they are, uh, especially folks who are indoor kids like myself, uh, I've always preferred to stay indoors and program on my computer or read comic books or do whatever rather than go out and play ball. I can't think of something less appealing than playing ball. Um, but I think we've all felt that feeling of um, kind of getting looked at strange or having to deal with people's bad attitudes towards us. And uh, one thing I wanted to, to talk about a little bit is that what Andy was saying about um, that he came out 30 plus years ago and was very visible. One of the things that we're doing, all of us, when we're honest about who we are and when we talk to people who may not understand us at first, we're all helping everybody else. And so uh, it, it feels difficult and it feels tough. Um, and it, it probably feels less tough now because people who came before you were also doing this work and also talking to people and educating them. So when you're open and honest, you are helping everybody else. Uh, and also give props to the people who did it before you when it was real hard. It was really hard. Almost everybody at one time is going to get bullied, even the bullies. And they do it because they're uncomfortable with something about themselves. And I would imagine if we were all honest with each other, that we probably bullied somebody ourselves. I know I have. There's been times where I've been being with somebody that I thought was lesser than me or something like that. And, you know, it's up to each 
Shabazz to decide if we're going to be that, if we're going to let that define us, if we're going to let what a bully says to us define us, or if we're going to define ourselves. That was an amazing panel, and it was just so amazing, just so good that it was in the kids' corral too. So they're kids, and they were all sitting there, and they got to hear about this and talk about being openly queer, and it was just so great. And a big kudos to Denver Comic Con for putting that in the kids' corral. Yeah, it was just super great, and I got this little, um, they had comics to give out to the people that stayed, and I got Rainy Day Recess, which is about a kid who's growing up, and he likes dolls and Wonder Woman and Barbies and his best friend, and it's just, I'm super excited to take a look at this one. Um, it seems to be pretty wordy, but yeah, I'm just very excited to read this and see what it's about, but yeah, I'm just really, really excited right now, because it, it was in the kids' corral, and it was a great panel, and there were great people speaking, and it was just, ah. <laughs>